Hi everyone. Today we're going to do the family ministry moment from the lock house in Habit of Grace. A little nice change of scenery. Got the Hayden Bridge going right there. So today's reading is, uh, it's a lot, but it had a really, really good message. And I'm sure that today's guest speaker will really bring it home. So what I what spoke out and jumped out to me reading it a few times was how it is so incredibly difficult for us to understand the full magnitude of love that God in Christ has for us. What I got from the reading was that through communicating with others, through literally just sitting down and talking with one another, how that would help you understand how God has enacted in the life of others. For example, if you talk to somebody about how they've seen God, they may have seen God differently than the way that you see God. It's just so great to sit down and talk with people sometimes and just not have an agenda and just sit down and, and have a chat. A couple of times in my life, this has been really cool. So one time with H2O, someone needed a ride to the, the garage to drop her car off. And they gave her a ride. It was rush hour. It took a lot longer than it needed to. But sitting down and talking with her about the way Hartford County was 80 years ago was really cool to listen to. And the time flew by. Um, my moment of frustration of having to give her a ride at uh, 6 o'clock in the afternoon when traffic is at its worst blew away. Just the time flew by and I wish I had more time to spend in the car with her. The second time was when I was in college, we would talk to people about their experiences in World War II. And we were trying very hard to get as many stories as we could. Now, at first I thought they only wanted to talk to people who were actually overseas in Japan or Europe and were part of the armed forces effort to win the war. Very soon I realized how much was going on back home, back in New Jersey, as a result of World War II. Sometimes it's not about where the action is. It's about being present in the moment and understanding what your duty is for this moment right now. So that's what I got from Ephesians. I'd love to hear what you got from it. Bye.